Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Stack with me, Kritika. So today I'm going to explain how we can store TF state file safely. So the first question which comes to our mind is what is this TF state file? But before going into that, I will give a brief about what is Terraform. So Terraform is an open source infrastructure as a code software tool that allows us to automatically provision and apply changes to our infrastructure. So the first time when we apply a configuration with Terraform, it's create a Terraform state file with .tf state file extension. It's a JSON document that contains description of all the resources created by Terraform. Terraform then use that state file to decide its plan when we want to update our infrastructure. I hope that clears what this TF state file in Terraform. Now the question arises where we can store this TF state file safely. In this case, either we can go with S3 service on AWS or cloud object service in IBM Cloud. Here I will give demo on how to store in cloud object storage bucket in IBM Cloud. Same applies to S3 in AWS, but with little modifications. So let's understand the flow first. This is the flow chart which we are going to follow. So the first thing is this Terraform files. This is a list of TF files in our repo that contain all the configurations of our infrastructure. Then Finally, this Terraform apply command is going to apply those configurations. And it is going to generate the Terraform state file that, that we are going to finally store in cloud object storage bucket in IBM Cloud. I hope you are clear with the flow. Now we will see the demo and go into details about how to configure cloud object storage instance to store TF state files. So the first thing which is required is to create a bucket under our cloud object storage instance. Here we are on IBM Cloud page UI and click on create bucket option. Give a unique name to our bucket and we are going to create it in US South region, let's say. Finally, create on create bucket option. Once our bucket is created, we will create a HMAC service credentials to access our bucket. HMAC is a type of authentication method. Here we will get a access key and secret key to access it through Terraform. So click on service credentials, click on new credential option, and here enable HMAC. Once the service credentials is created, we will get the access key and secret key to access this bucket through Terraform. Here we can see that our service credentials are generated and we have two things, that is access key and secret access key. We will make a note of it. Also, we can see like our bucket is also created with the name store-tf-state, which is in US South region. So now we will see the code changes. Here is our repo under which we have list of TF files. So talking about the first file, that is versions.tf file, here we specify three blocks, that is Terraform block, provider block, and backend. In Terraform block, we are specifying which version of Terraform should we install. The next is provider block. Here we are going to specify which provider should Terraform install. Like in our case, it is IBM provider. Basically, it is a Terraform plugin that specifies which particular resources we need to specify. So here we are dealing with IBM Cloud resources. Now comes backend. It is the main thing which enables remote storage of our TF state file. Here we are using backend and S3 instead of COS because COS is also built on top of S3 APIs only. So setting below these parameters to true will disable the calls to S3 on AWS and it will call POS APIs. So in backend block, we have these many parameters and we will go into each of them. So the first thing is the bucket. So it is a bucket name. The next thing is reason. So here we will specify in which reason our bucket is created. The next thing is endpoint. This is a cost endpoint that we are going to see in our bucket details. So here we can see endpoints. So we have created it as regional and it is in US South region. So here we can see the private endpoints that we are going to specify here in the endpoint parameters. Now in backend block, we need to specify three more parameters that we are going to specify in Terraform init command. Now comes this Terraform.tfs and variables.tf file. 
In terraform.tf was file, I have declared IBM Cloud API key as the variable name. This is the API key of my IBM Cloud account. Now comes this main.tf file. This main.tf file is a simple TF file that is going to create a resource group in my IBM Cloud account as I have specified my own API key. Currently, we can verify that in our, my IBM Cloud account, I just have one resource group created. After running the Terraform apply command, it is going to create one more resource group in our account. This is with the name test. Once we are into our repo directory, we are going to run Terraform init command. That is going to initialize our current working directory with the provider installation and configuration. It also configures our cost packet. So here goes the command. That is Terraform init command. So in Terraform init command, basically I told previously like we are going to set three more parameters on our backend block. So the first parameter is this key. What is this key parameter? This is the name of the file with which our TF state file is going to store in cost bucket. And then we have two more parameters that is access key and secret key. So where we will get our access key and secret key? That we have generated in service credentials. So we will set these two values there. So using export command, we will set those two variables. I have already written those commands here. I will just set it, export, and then secret key. Once we have set those variables, we will run the terraform init command. This is my command to run terraform init. So it is going to initialize the backend. It is also going to install my provider. Once terraform init command ran successfully, we will run the terraform apply command. Here we can see like till now there is only one resource group in my account. And after applying the terraform apply command, we will see that one more resource group is created in my account. And its corresponding TF state file will get stored in cost bucket. Let's wait for this terraform apply command to get created. Here we need to manually set this as yes. Otherwise, we have auto approve option also in Terraform. Let's wait for this command to get successfully executed. So it is creating this IBM Cloud resource group. Now we can verify the same. As we can see now, the test resource group is created. That we have specified in our main.tf file. Now finally, we can see like its corresponding TF state file should get uploaded to our bucket. As we can see now, this rpos.tf state file is stored here as we have specified this parameter in Terraform init command. So I will also share with you guys my repo link for this particular code. I will share this link with you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it will be helpful for you all. Kindly like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.